Hello guys and welcome to my exclusive video on sharing community. My name is Alexandra Negrita. I am 28 and I have been blind since I was 14. I am registered blind. I have rod cone dystrophy and I suffer from tunnel vision. Um, I, I have a bit of um, colour blindness too. So a lot of my products are surveyed by my colleagues and they tell me whether it looks good or whether it looks bad. Because although I can design a product that smells absolutely fabulous, it doesn't mean that it actually looks good. <laughs> it might mean that it absolutely looks terrible. Um, you know, <laughs> it smells great and it washes great and it feels great, but it doesn't necessarily look good. So, you know, I don't work alone is the bottom line. Now, originally, I felt really self-conscious about this because I felt that I was a bit of a fraud, you know, because I'm not the blind soap maker because I don't make it. I don't pour the soap myself. I don't do a lot of these things. I just design the product and then I, I work with my parents to make the product at the moment. This obviously can change with a bit of tech, possibly. But at the moment, that's that's how I'm working it. And my dad just, just sat me down and said, look, Alex, at the end of the day, nobody works alone. And until he said that, I felt so self-conscious about how people would consider to me, um, me to be a bit of a fraud, you know? Um, and, and that was so comforting to me because at the end of the day, the lady that made the body shop doesn't make all the soaps that get sold in every single store and across the globe. You know, she's not an elf in Santa's grotto at the end of the day, you know, so <laughs> don't worry about it. Just, just keep calm and carry on, as they say. And I just, the other reason why I felt really self-conscious about making my business was because a lot of people see my product and see how professional it looks and genuinely don't believe that it was designed by me. You know, they don't believe that the idea was created by me or that that I, I do a lot of the things myself. Um, that they believed, a lot of them ask where we buy it in from. And in all honesty, we don't buy the products in at all. Not one little bit. Um, we, we do make them here in Durham from scratch. Um, so if you're hearing a whole load of cardboard being moved, that's because there is a whole load of cardboard being moved. Right now, I'm getting ready for a massive Christmas order that I have got from from a, a you know a well one of our well-known customers okay so at the moment i'm making up silver boxes and these silver boxes if you're looking for my product out on the shelf has luxury soap written on the back in braille here on the back or actually no I, yeah it's on the back at the moment and on the side there is a little cutout it looks like it looks like the mouse is just peeping out of a mouse hole because I have I have a mouse as my symbol at the moment and it's just and it, it's a cutout so you can feel inside and that's so that you can actually smell the product inside so you can pick it up and have a whiff sorry have a whiff honestly it's so unprofessional <laughs> have a smell and see whether you like the product or not So I'm going to make these and I'm going to show you a couple of clips of the manufacturing elements of what I do because I don't just make soaps in novelty shapes like sheeps or hedgehogs or hearts. I do make ordinary rectangular shaped soap. I make hand washes. I make shower gels. I make bath bombs at the moment. I, I have a line of body butters and hand creams and at the moment the really popular one at the moment since it's Christmas is chocolate chip mint chocolate chip so I'll see you soon guys mm. 
So here are the sheep soaps being poured right now into the moulds. So I thought I'd get on here just to explain. Once we've poured the soap out, we tend to let it cool down before we pop it out and put it in its box. This is why it's going to go straight into the next video. Hello guys. So right now we are making Christmas bath bombs. And if you look on the website, you can see all of the different fragrances. But this is just to show you the principles. So I'm now going to mix my bath bomb mix. <laughs> So now we're adding our fragrance to the mix and then I'm going to whisk it all up again. So now we're going to add the colour. And the colour tends to go a long, long way. Okay. mold in and then what we do is we just splat them all out let them dry and then we decorate them like cakes so here is our made up sheep soaps and now we are just popping out the third of our golden sheep soaps I believe these ones are orange and calendula. Hey, clementine jelly. Okay. Nope, they're not. They're clementine jelly. But, hey, that's the order. And there they all are. Those little soapy soaps. Don't they look gorgeous and cute? They're quite they're just made. So I'm just going to get a little bit of a close-up. They probably look better from afar, but there you go. There they all are. So in order to finish the production of this particular customer's order, I first wrap the soap itself and then I wrap the soap again in tissue paper and then put it in the little boxes. The photograph that you're about to see on your screen illustrates the finished uh, product in the box and, and how we send it out to people. I really hope that you think about me, uh, well, <laughs> about this company at Christmas um, because, well, mainly because I'm a little bit selfish and I like to think that I've had a positive influence in people's lives and I really hope that you enjoy whichever product you might choose to purchase and enjoy the video. If you want to see more of my videos, then look me up on YouTube at Alexandra Negwaiter, 1991, The Blind Soap Maker. That is what I'm on at the moment. Um, and I hope um, that you have a really good day. Okay, so see you later. Bye bye.